Welcome to the Fast Track 4-H Volunteer Training on Positive Competition and Evaluation. The main focus of 4-H is helping youth learn by gaining leadership, citizenship, and life skills. Part of the learning process in 4-H may come from competition and evaluation of 4-H projects. In this session, we will discuss how the competition and evaluation experience can be a positive one. All 4-H learning experiences should contribute toward achieving the goal of helping young people learn life skills so they can become self-productive and contributing citizens. County Fair and State Fair are often considered the pinnacle of the 4-H year. These are two events where competition and evaluation are used to teach 4-H'ers. Always keep in mind, we are using competition to teach life skills. 4-H is more than winning ribbons, showing and selling animals, or doing something better than someone else. It is about making the best better in yourself, in relationships with others, and in your community. It is about building character in its members, families, and advisors. 4-H is about learning and becoming a better individual. At county fairs and other 4-H events, evaluation of 4-H exhibits is often part of the 4-H educational experience. When evaluating, score sheets are often used as a checklist to see what standards the exhibit meets or does not meet. Judges may also consider the skill level based on age and circumstance and expect a higher performance from older 4-H'ers. So there is some variance within the standard. Score sheets are tools used to list criteria for the project and allow space for written comments. It is important to realize when an exhibit is being judged, it is more than the evaluation of a child's work. It is a teachable moment. While score sheets define what we consider to be the important elements that need to be scored, many members learn just as much from the comments provided by the judge. Judging is based on a comparison to the standard, not the comparison to others in the class. Remember, a judge's opinion is one person's opinion on one day. In 4-H, when items are evaluated or judged, they often receive a ribbon for their award. Each ribbon does have a different meaning. Purple ribbons mean the exhibit is excellent in quality. It's meeting all or exceeds the quality standards. Blue ribbons mean the exhibit is superior in quality. The standards have been met and denotes adequate work. Red ribbons mean it is average to above average in quality. The exhibit shows signs of quality but does not completely meet the standards and some areas need further improvement. White ribbons mean the exhibit is below average in quality. It does not meet standards and there are several needs for improvement. Grand champions and reserve champions are given in some departments in lieu of purple ribbons to designate the top two in a division. Ribbons are only awards given to denote the quality of work according to the criteria or standards. What is the most important is what 4-H'ers learn from the project and how they can improve next time. Competition is part of our society and part of the 4-H program. It is vital youth develop a positive attitude about competition. Often it is the actions and attitudes of significant adults in the youth's life that help determine his or her positive or negative reaction to competition. Not receiving a purple or the Grand Champion Ribbon is never as joyful as winning it. However, just because you did not receive that Purple Ribbon does not mean that you are not a winner. Loss or failure should be viewed as unavoidable in a learning experience. Help youth understand this by talking to them. Appropriate questions can be asked to avoid negative reactions and help guide the youth toward positive growth. Successful people try to evaluate the outcome rather than focus on the win or loss. Ask the young person questions such as, how do you feel you did? What do you think happened? What do you think caused this to happen? What can you do differently next time? Follow these questions with encouragement to try again. It is important that all youth have an opportunity to process with somebody about the experience. This may be a 4-H leader or a parent or maybe even an older teen who has gone through these experiences. Always remember to keep competition in a positive light. The true winners are the ones who learned from their projects, expand their skills, and think, how can I do better next time? Or, I really learned a lot from this project. 
All youth can be winners and reach success with positive guidance from caring adults. Thank you for taking the time to listen to the Fast Track 4-H Volunteer Training on Positive Competition and Evaluation.